Did you know that it's possible to have one HDRI appear as your background of your scene while the second HDRI is actually lighting it? Well, you can. Let's start by going to the World tab, changing color to Environment Texture, and opening your favorite HDRI. Turn on Rendered Viewport Shading and go to Perspective or Camera View. Drop in a happy object or two and split the view, making one a Node Editor, and changing it to World, being sure to check the box that says Use Nodes. Let's duplicate our background node and add in a Mix Shader node. Now we have a kind of blank background that is just gray mixing with our HDRI background. What we can do now is add a second HDRI or create a procedural background with stars like the video in the link above. Now we can see that we still have two HDRIs mixed evenly together. However, that's not what we're going for. We want one HDRI to be the background and one HDRI to light the scene. In order to do that, we need to add a light paths node. And we can take this is camera ray socket and plug it into the mix factor socket. Now, whichever is on the bottom will be the background, whichever is on top will be lighting the scene. So if we swap them, you can see that we have stars in the background, but our ball is definitely being lit by that HDRI. But that's not the only way to do it. We can also mix RGB nodes. Add a mix RGB node. Use the is camera ray as the factor and plug in your backgrounds into the color one and color two sockets and the color out socket into the background node. And you'll accomplish the same thing. While we have been using EV for this demonstration, this setup also works with cycles. So as review, here's a look at the mix shader setup and here is our mix RGB setup. As usual, if you found this video helpful, click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Leave a comment or two and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, I'm Carl with Blender Forge. Happy blending!